In 1881, an army physician named Charles E. McChesney, stationed at the Cheyenne River Agency in South Dakota, commissioned a series of drawings. The artist that McChesney enlisted was a man named Red Horse, a leader of the Minneconju Band of the Lakota people who had been at the Battle of Greasy Grass, what the Americans called the Battle of Little Bighorn. Up until the mid-1800s, animal hides had been the main medium for Plains Indians' paintings and drawings. But with the arrival of the railroad and the subsequent destruction of the bison by American settlement, Increasingly, Native Americans turned to government ledger books as their main medium. All 42 of Red Horse's drawings in these ledger books depict the Battle of Greasy Grass from 1876. McChesney was interested in capturing the Lakota perspective on this battle, and that is exactly what Red Horse produced. Notably absent from these drawings is any depiction of Lieutenant George Armstrong Custer, who is the main protagonist, or perhaps the tragic figure in most American tellings of this story.